Did the Iraqi foreign minister carry an American message during his visit to Tehran? There have been speculations about a message from U.S. officials during the Iraqi foreign minister's visit to Tehran. According to sources, Iraqi Foreign Minister Fawad Hussein met with officials of the Islamic Republic in Tehran on January 1 during an official visit. Reportedly, during the recent visit of Iraqi Foreign Minister Fawad Hussein to Tehran, he carried a message from U.S. officials to the officials of the Islamic Republic regarding the Vienna talks. Accordingly, the Iraqi foreign minister announced the immediate request of U.S. officials to negotiate directly with the officials of the Islamic Republic, both formally and confidentially to reach an agreement. Iran should not waste time and should negotiate with us, he was quoted as saying by the Americans. If this trend continues as it is now, it will lead to losses for the Islamic Republic in regional developments. In this message, the Americans expressed hope that if direct talks are held, the two sides can hope to reach a win-win agreement. Iranian authorities have denied these speculations. U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken says there are only a few weeks left to save the 2015 Iran nuclear deal. The U.S. has been participating in the talks indirectly, with Washington and Tehran. The latest round of talks resumed in November 2021. We're very short on time, because Iran is getting closer to the point where they could produce on very short order enough fissile material for a nuclear weapon, he said. These nuclear advances have reportedly led to a short nuclear breakout period for Iran. This means there is a small window of time for Iran to achieve nuclear weapons capability before it can be stopped by diplomatic pressure or military action. If a deal can't be reached, the U.S. is allegedly looking at other steps, and other options with allies in Europe and the Middle East. Those other options are often regarded as implicit threats of military actions. Reportedly, Israeli officials have been increasingly vocal about the possibility of launching a tactical military strike against Iran, with or without U.S. cooperation, in case these negotiations fail. Iran's nuclear program is made up of a number of nuclear facilities, including nuclear reactors and various nuclear fuel cycle facilities in Arak, Bushehr, Darkovine, Fordo, Natanz, and Isfahan. Under the JCPOA, Iran agreed to eliminate its stockpile of medium-enriched uranium. The agreement provides that in return for verifiably abiding by its commitments, Iran will receive relief from the U.S., European Union, and United Nations Security Council nuclear-related sanctions, 